Wretch Like Me is about the time I was a fundamentalist, which was now many years ago. I was a teenager in the 1970s in Southern California. I became a member of the Jesus Club looking for some kind of community and I bought it hook, line, and sinker. Jesus became my life and for many years that was everything I thought about until I started asking too many questions. Little by little I found myself getting into churches that were more and more steering toward fundamentalism. Uh, after praying in a trailer in the fifth grade to accept Jesus, I, uh, I ended Hang up... Hang on one second. What do you mean praying in a trailer? Praying in a trailer. It's one of the scenes I do in the show, Wretch Like Me. Okay. Uh, at Berlin Elementary School in Ontario, California, there is, was, something called Release Time Bible Study. Every Tuesday, the local Baptist church sent a woman named Mrs. Hunt, who we all call the Jesus Lady, uh, with this trailer on the back of a pickup truck to the front of the school. And those of us with permission slips from our parents could file in and have Bible study for one hour. And in, in the course of going to those Bible studies, uh, the Jesus Lady uh, told us all that if we accepted Jesus into our heart, we would never be sad or unhappy or lonely again. In an earlier version of the show, I wrote a scene where it described me walking across the campus and walking past this group of stoners sitting over here and this group of chess players and how I would try to get their eye of all these different communities that I might be a part of. And they all look at me, check me out, decide I wasn't worthy of whatever they had to offer and turn their heads. So I kept going until I encountered the Jesus people and they said, hey, why don't you sit down? And they had me. It was... Uh, in early the early 80s, uh, when I was 20, 21, right in there, that I finally made the decision to walk away from the church. Uh, it was really not just one thing, it was uh, hundreds of things. In the show, that is the turning point of the show, um, where I begin to wrestle with these questions I'm having and this increasing fundamentalist vibe in the church that I became a part of. In the show we call it Happy Chapel. And the minister there, um, who is this cool guy uh, we called Reverend Dude. He was a former acid-dropping surfer guy. And he found Jesus in a tent in Hawaii while tripping on uh, psilocybin. And we loved him and he formed this church. But as he got more and more serious, he uh, started insisting we um, make choices that in some cases I was finding hard to do. As I was trying to be more and more like Jesus and accept the love that Jesus had for everyone, I was finding it harder and harder to close the door to these groups of people that Reverend Dude said um, were sinners, you know, gay people, stoners, all these other folks that I was trying to reach out to.